Welcome back. Starting off with a head-on shot of the 75-gallon mixed reef. All is well. The leather coral here on the left-hand side is still uh, the leather uh, toll stool is still closed up. Um, but I'm not again not too concerned. It's the most um, temperamental coral, I think. Um, it'll just close up, do its thing. I'll probably um, toss some more carbon in there on the first if I can remember. First and the fifteenth is when I switch out the coconut carbon. But main thing I'm watching out for is which corals are uh, the coral warfare. It's one of the biggest things. Um, in the morning, I definitely keep an eye on the, P the pH. So not obsessing over it, but I like to see. Uh, I think this morning was 813 and then it drifted up to 831, 32 right before the lights come on at 1 p.m. So again, another head-on shot. Drawing outside air right there on the right-hand side through an air tube, goes through a CO2 scrubber into the skimmer. Uh, skimmer and everything in the sump is doing well. The main concern Nice close-up shot there. Love those two corals. Um, the bright orange zoas, not the... Those are utter chaos. Um, I guess those are the speckled bright, but the solid bright ones, I think they're called Bam Bams. Um, they somehow have jumped from the Satosa coral through all those wild zoas up into the bright green fluorescent Sephastria coral. So I'm definitely looking forward to those taking hold now that I've trimmed back the other ones that are more of a nuisance zoa. They grow really fast. Uh, they're not as uh, colorful as some of the other zoas. Here you can see a close-up shot of, I think they're Bam Bams, I'm not sure. Bright orange zoas uh, right there next to the bright green Sephastria. Um, Sephastria is definitely taking over. Um, so I have to keep an eye on it to see how it impacts the corals. But right now it's working for me. It's growing on the overflow box, which I don't mind. And for the most part, it jumped from the rock to the overflow box. And it's starting to branch out. Uh, right up there where that snail is at, it's starting to branch out. So again, we'll keep an eye on it. Those rocks closest to the overflow box are actually... Uh, Fiji uh, dead live rock that was glued to Tunzi magnet and bam so there's about three f maybe four in that area so they can easily be plucked out if things get too out of control overall water parameters are doing well I'll leave those in the description down below and here on the far right side uh, the uh, I think this is an RA green bubble coral um, I have some micro bubbles in the tank, uh, and I think it's that that's kind of, uh, you know, agitating it. Because uh, usually this thing is wide open, sucking up all the bright Kessel uh, A360WE. It's directly over um, definitely one, if not two Kessel lights. So that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Welcome to subscribers.